now in another part of the house, not on the floor anymore. Um, we've evolved. So, um, I guess a lot has happened, but not also not that much. Um, it feels like it's been a really busy period work-wise and um, life-wise. So, so I haven't had a whole heap of time to vlog and I also want to, you know, balance actually doing work on the project and just documenting it. I had a big brainstorming session with um, the writer and our consultant, aka some of my best friends. <laughs> And it was really productive and just really, really good to um, go through the script together in full. I think it'd be good to cut to her while they're still talking a bit. Cut to Ava in her cubicle. She's kind of like trying mm. to keep her yeah. like breathing mm. like contained and stuff because mm. she's like what and then they walk out sort of thing. Like yeah. the, mm. the dialogue gets quieter and quieter. Oh yeah, it gets more distant. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Mm. So then Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's but really you, good. Do you go back to them? No, you don't go back to them. So once you're in with her, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. Then it's just a moment in the conversation as opposed to the only bit we ever see of those characters. Mm, yeah. Which says that they're super superficial at yeah. the moment. She wasn't a teenager, but she was in a domestic violence situation and she had to leave. Mm. And just all the stuff she was saying. Yeah. Violent. Yeah, a shitty boyfriend. And that's perhaps what drove her out. And that's the most common reason why girls leave anyway. I imagined it like that because I just thought it was very uncomfortable. That's Not right. Probably because like, yeah. if she's going back to pick up some stuff mm. and she just has a backpack and like a water bottle, that's pretty normal. Mm. Yeah. I was just so interested in all their choices because I was like, it's a zombie thing, mm. but the choices the costume designer made are so cool. Mm. I didn't know those things. <laughs> <laughs> they pan so much, there's so much like, yeah, her to the mirror and to back, and then another mirror. It's and all like one crazy shot. Mm. And and she wouldn't like wallow like, in her anxiety for too long because she can't. No, maybe it's a simple action like a hair. Just like you know, fix mm. or like a just like back back to normal, which is yeah. like so futile. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She's made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Day one. So it's just thinking about like, yeah, what do we want to say in that first mirror shot? Yeah, yeah. that's interesting. From here, the important thing is funding. Um, so we really need to get on top of that. We're going to be doing a crowdfunding campaign and um, hopefully trying to get some backing from brands and um, from one brand in particular. Yeah, funding is really, really critical, obviously. Like, I know short films don't make money. I'm happy to supplement. Obviously, this is a really important project to me and... Um, I just, I want it to be good. I want it to be worth submitting to festivals. I want it to be, um, yeah, to do the topic justice and just be really proud of it. So obviously having worked in advertising, I know these things take money, <laughs> a lot of money. I mean, Grace works in advertising too, or she did at least until recently. And one of her, one of the jobs that she wrote for was a 60 second spot that had the budget of a million dollars. I mean, you can make so many films for that amount of money. <laughs> you can make so many Kelly Reichardt films for that amount of money. So we're not looking for that. Just, you know, three, four days of shooting, you need a DOP, you need a gaffer, you need production design, you need hair and makeup. And all those people will do reduced rates for friends, for, um, short films for creative projects that they are passionate about. All those people are amazing at their jobs and they're worth being paid for. But once you add up all those people, um, and that's a really bare bones shoot, you're already at like five grand per shoot day and that's good, that's cheap. So um, yeah, and then I'll be doing the editing 
it'd be I'd really love to get a professional color grader obviously we want a professional sound mix we want um, to pay for composition I have you know subscriptions to stock music libraries and stuff but it's always a little boring so that is I mean that's another element that I really need to get on top of is the sound as a director there's just so many decisions that you need to be making and um, it can be a little overwhelming figuring out um, I guess like compartmentalizing those in your brain Um, at the moment I'm thinking about acting I'm thinking about cinematography in particular camera movement for some reason like um, it's not something that I've really really focused on in the past but it's just so critical and you want it I suppose in this kind of like naturalist genre to be unobtrusive especially for um, younger actors and you don't want it to like pull audiences out of you know their viewing experience Um, but that's a skill that's a real skill and obviously the DOP is like super super critical in that um, regard but as a director you want to have some opinion on it obviously I'm looking at um, really good examples of young sort of tween acting like between 11 till 14 because there's there's a lot in the range of 16 and up I think Um, you know and that's like a very interesting part of adolescence but we're looking at a girl who's 13 14 which is really young to be um, experiencing homelessness and also going through puberty and um, so it's a it's quite an overwhelming experience for her even though as a character um, she's quite stoic and mature for her age because of what she's had to go through there's a bit of a dialogue I think at the moment especially after euphoria about the um, over sexualization of teenagers and um, just how they're portrayed on screen might be affecting um, mental health there aren't a huge amount of I guess realistic portrayals of young um, people on screen more so now like eighth grade Bo Burnham was awesome Um, I just watched Pen15 that was hilarious Um, actually I've watched quite a few films of late obviously trying to put myself into this position and Um, see how these young uh, girls are portrayed on screen so for example Ava was a French film actually our character's name is Ava so I was like wow should watch this Um, about a young girl whose vision slowly fades over summer that was really interesting Um, another French film called A Colony that was a really, really great portrayal of a young 12, 13 year old girl. Celine Sciamma, uh, Raw. So many French films, actually, they're all French, about um, young women, I guess, and, and really good, realistic portrayals. Um, eighth grade, so well acted, and just, I think, yeah, it's that, that shame that's so so visceral when you're that age um regardless sort of of what you're going through even if you're popular even if you don't have you know all these layers of disadvantage even then the shame and the um anxiety that you experience just going through life you know like feeling all these really strong emotions is so powerful so now imagine what happens when you're in a really difficult situation when yeah you don't have a support system you don't have resources you don't have um friends you don't have money like it's actually really really insane and unfortunately it's not fiction um for many young women so that's like the the sort of power of this story 
And yes, wow, I've been talking for a while. My next steps are to continue going through the script. Um, I've set up a Miller note. I've been seeing that online a lot. Obviously I love Notion mainly for my day to day and for my um, real job. Uh, but Miller note seems really, really good for just dragging a bunch of resources together. I think I'm going to um, create references for each scene and I'm going to start, yeah, really consolidating thoughts on actors. I'm going to start trying to cast. I'm going to start really thinking about locations and obviously really, really importantly, we're going to try and get some funding. So I think the funding will be like at least a month long process, if not more, which means that this whole process might need to be extended a little further. But, you know, I'm in it for the long haul. I believe that it's going to be good at the end, regardless of um, how long it takes. So stick around.